Ball State football is back on the road this time in Mid-American Conference play against the Kent State Golden Flashes. Previewing that with head coach Mike New. Coach, a day into practice of this week. How would you see the team respond? Yeah, just guys are ready to go to work here. Obviously, had a few uh, adjustments here in terms of what we're doing game plan wise based on what we're seeing on tape. And so uh, just coming out here, making sure uh, everybody's mindset is right, our, everybody's attitude is right, and attacking the practice field with great intent. You talk about next man up mentality. How are you seeing those next guys have to come in through with the injuries that have happened this year? Yeah, and obviously, you know, that's the challenge. You got to get the next guy ready to play. And as the next guy, you know, most likely doesn't have as much experience as a guy that was in front of him or doesn't have as many reps or could be younger. But that's the reality of the business. That's the reality of the sport. So you just got to do the best you can. Obviously, that could force you to make some adjustments to what you do game plan wise, offense, defense, or special teams. But at the end of the day, you got to get every man that's on this field ready to go. Drew Hughes, big fella touchdown. Where's your head go when you see that play happen live? Uh, happy for him. We've repped that a lot. Uh, this year we've repped it pretty much every week. And then obviously uh, last year even we repped that some. So it was a great call by Coach Elliott. You could tell he had a conviction in his gut, like this is what I want to go with uh, down here. And the good thing is Drew's caught every one of those in practice. So you felt confident that, you know, when, when K uh, Caden touched it up over that end right there that you felt like, all right, he's going to make this play. Look, I think everybody's just happy that we saw him back at fullback after the timeout was called to still go with him. That's right. And obviously they, they called the time out there, uh, whether it was a personnel that we had on the field, but yes, nothing changed uh, with, with Coach Elliott's feeling there when, when the timeout happened. And again, great execution, great call. Um, it was fun to see that for Drew. It's Mike, fun to see the guys celebrate with him too. Yeah, that was a good part of it as well. Uh, we're starting to see the offense get back to, to somewhat of full health with Ty coming back. Just how much has that changed the offense that we saw from Saturday? Uh, just obviously it's awesome when you can have guys that uh, you force a defense to, to pay attention to all of them. That's our goal. And we want to be able to, to take advantage of the weapons that we got. We feel strongly uh, about the guys that we have in that wide receiver room. We got great depth there. Obviously love our tight ends, love Tanner, love Christian, uh, Tyce, what those guys are doing. Love our running back group. So uh, we're just gonna, you know, keep doing a great job of, of executing uh, one play at a time and making sure that we're taking our drives down the field, leading points. Kent State, what jumps out about them? Uh, listen, Kent State's coming off a bye week. They played Eastern at home for their first conference game. So they've had time. They've been through uh, some challenges as well with some injuries, but uh, they're doing a good job of, of uh, getting the next guy ready to go. And for us, it's really about making sure we go out and play the best brand of football for us. But uh, they've, they've got some explosive playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. They got some, a lot of guys defensively uh, that play a lot of games in their Kent State career. So uh, we're going to have to be ready to go here. It starts with us having a great week of practice. Ty, you've been able to now practice for a couple of weeks. You got to play on Saturday. What's the progress been like for you just to get back into the swing of things? Oh, yeah, it's been a process, man. Obviously, it sucks being injured, but, you know, we got a great uh, strength staff and a great training staff that's, you know, helped me, you know, get back to it. Uh, you know, I was injured last year, so kind of already know the process of it. So a little bit quicker this time uh, getting back out here, so that's good. What was running through your head when the, the staff said, hey, you're clear to go? Oh, man, I was excited. Uh, obviously, especially because I didn't get to play last year, like, you know, I've been practicing all spring, all fall and everything. I just was, you know, excited to get out there with my team, you know, fight for my guys. Ty, what did you see on that touchdown that got you into the end zone for the first time at Schumann Stadium? Yeah, really just uh, just film study all week. Uh, that was a great, great play call by, uh, by Coach Elliott. Uh, you know, we knew how they were going to play, and as soon as I as soon as I lined up, I knew he was going to throw me the ball. So, you know, at that point, I just trust my instincts, go go play ball like I've been doing for, you know, since I can remember. Ty, how have you seen this group band together this week early in practice to get ready for Kent State? Absolutely. Um, you know, this group is is really close already, and um, just the wide receivers, this team in general, just emphasizing, uh, keeping energy, uh, encouraging each other has helped a lot. Just emphasizing the little things as well. So. Um, I think as long as we uh, emphasize that, we can go uh, one and know this week. Drew, you had a chance to score your first collegiate touchdown uh, playing fullback after playing defensive line for the majority of the season. Like, what was that like for you? I mean, honestly, a lot of people don't know, but I used to catch balls in uh, high school, so it's not like it's anything new to me, but it was definitely a crazy experience to go out there and actually catch it and run it into the end zone. For you, and that play was drawn up in that moment, what was kind of your game plan to make sure that you got that and took care of business? Well, I mean, we've had it installed since like midway through last year, so it's not like it's a new play call that we've been practicing in practice. So I was ready for when the play was called. I, we saw the, the timeout taken by Western Michigan, and then Coach Elliott decided to stick with that call. What kind of confidence did that give you to say, hey, he's got my back, I'm going to get his? Well, I'm not going to lie. At first, I was a little scared because there was a TV timeout, and we were just <laughs> standing there for so long. But once I lined up, I knew that I was going to get it in the end zone. <laughs> 
Drew, what was that like coming off the field after that touchdown? I mean, it was electric just seeing all my teammates out there just cheering me on, smacking me on the top of my head. So it was a crazy experience. For you to, to have that type of camaraderie, how have you seen this group just continue to band together? We got a lot of stuff to work on, and uh, we're just going to keep pushing through and hopefully eventually coming out with wins. So 